Falls are the number one cause of fatalities in construction. Falls cause one of every three construction worker deaths. These falls happen in a split second while workers are on roofs. A construction worker is dead and another injured after an accident at the Viking Stadium site. Breaking news now in Hazelwood. Investigators tell us a man died after falling. A man from working a roof. on a hangar at Cecil Field is hurt. Witnesses say strong winds blew him right off the roof. So today we're going to do a, a very simple install video for people that have just purchased the anchor. Um, and the way that you see the anchor, this is the way that it arrives. Um, it's going to be preloaded with 12 stainless steel cup tip set screws. It's already going to have the safety stickers installed and it's already going to have the D-ring installed. Um, so by now, you should have already read your owner's manual cover to cover. You should have uh, already got the anchor into service by doing your uh, data first use, doing your initial inspection. Part of that includes uh, these two top bolts. You want to check torque on these before every use. These are 9 16 inch, um, and these need to be torqued to 90 inch pounds minimum, not foot pounds, 90 inch pounds. Same as these cup tip set screws. So once you've done all that, you really just need two tools to install this. You need uh, your typical screw gun. Um, hopefully your screw gun has a clutch that comes in handy and, and uh, certainly helps speed up the installation. Um, 
and then you also need a torque wrench what they call a micro torque wrench that is capable of reading down into inch pounds um, this is a quarter inch drive and then with this I have a quarter inch socket bit with a 3 16 inch hex and that'll just be used for the final torquing um, so one thing to note we are using a, a inch and a half tall seam the anchor is you have an inch and a half of height plus one inch of width so the, like I said this seems only a quarter inch so I'll show you a little trick we use to speed up installation but on seams that are inch and a half or shorter the installation is very simple because the clamp itself is going to sit flat down on the panel so you don't have to worry during installation on taller seams when the clamp is up off of the panel you have to be careful that you don't get it uh, tilted to one side during installation you, you have to hold it nice and straight so on inch and a half or shorter it's very simple because it does sit pretty much flat down on the panel um, <clears throat> with that being said one one tool you might want to have in your toolbox that helps speed things up is just a pivoting bit holder these are eight to ten dollars this happens to be a DeWalt um, but uh, this certainly helps because on these shorter seams these set screws can get real close to the seam, uh, real close to the panel and it's sometimes hard to get your screw gun lined up with the screw so these these pivot bits come in handy so pick one of those up and uh, and then we include a 3 16 inch bit with the anchor it'll typically be taped on top uh, this is just a starter bit you know get you a hand get you a couple of these these do wear out they get lost very easily you can get longer ones like I said you can get the pivot this is a nice accessory to have for shorter seams but uh, we give you a starter bit but uh, you know pick up a couple extras whatever you're comfortable with and uh, that should be all you need so one trick that we do to speed up the installation is I'm left-handed so what I do is if you notice the set screws this is what's called preloading so I've already I've already set one side of the anchor these six set screws to about the position uh, that when this is done being torqued the seam's going to be in the middle and these screws are going to squeeze in so that the panel is squeezed between the two set screws so I preload these six and I want to load those I want to put those on the right side of the seam so that my screw guns in my left hand which is more comfortable for me so go ahead and get these nice and in a nice straight line about just off of center about where the finished position is going to be and then you just set that over the seam so you want to make sure um, <clears throat> when you locate this on the seam you need to have somebody a competent person on site that uh, knows the proper location to put the anchors uh, you want to be four feet from any fall areas from any edges of the roof you don't want to be within four feet of the end of the panel either um, so make sure that uh, you have a, a proper OSHA approved safety plan of where to mount these anchors before you do anything um, so basically once we have it in place it's about a two minute installation once we start uh, going through setting the uh, snugging up the first step one is we're going to snug up these six set screws with the screw gun I know on my personal screw gun with this clutch that with it set on the highest clutch rating of 15 I know that still put that puts me just under that puts me actually at about 75 or 80 inch pounds so we're going to be torquing these cup tip set screws today to 90 inch pounds so I know I can I can be on a, a setting of 15 your your gun's going to be a little bit different um, you could also use if you if all you have is an impact gun you could use that but just remember on the impact gun they don't have clutches and if you stay on that trigger it will drive that screw way over 90 inch pounds which can damage the seam so we don't want that so a screw gun with a clutch is the best way to go because you can't you can set it so that you don't over torque it um, so I'll just take my flex bit load it up and we're pretty much ready to go so so this is our starting position like I said I've got my screw gun in my left hand because that's what's comfortable and what I'm gonna do is snug up these six set screws and I'm gonna alternate I'm gonna go here here three four five six and then I'm gonna go around all 12 screws and I'm gonna set everything to 90 inch pounds okay so everything's snugged up set that aside now I have my torque wrench and, and and like I said this is a micro torque wrench 
this reads down into inch pounds. We're going to 90 inch pounds, not foot pounds. With these cup tip set screws, we have two types of set screws that we're certified to use in this. One is the cup tip all stainless screw that you currently, that it comes out of the box with those cup tip set screws already loaded. You can also use an optional set screw that's a nylon tip. It has a nylon bushing in the end. Um, if you use the nylon tip set screws, this process is going to be the same, except you're going to go to 180 inch pounds on the nylon tip. So we're using just the regular cup tip, so it's 90 inch pounds, and that's all written on the, on the safety sticker. So just remember on your torque, whichever set screws you're using, check the torque, and it is very important. That is the number one rule of this anchor, is it has to be properly torqued to work properly. So um, I just have my quarter inch drive, 3 16 inch hex bit, because I have a quarter inch drive torque wrench. You could have a 3 8 or or even bigger torque wrench, but... Uh, that's what I happen to have here, so. Okay, so those are torqued. I'll switch over to the other side. And there you have it. That's properly installed standing seam roof anchor about two minutes without a bunch of extra talking. So once that's in place, um, you're ready to, whatever you're going to be attaching to this, typically it's going to be a vertical lifeline. Clip in, you're ready to go.